we know better. We don't take the chances. We know sooner or later it always catches up with you. Leave me alone, Freddy. Don't give me any lectures. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Marcy tried Mexico. It didn't help. You see, you look just like Dr. Bartok. This was you. A real double down to the last detail. What do you think? Dead ringer, huh? Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Marcy tried Mexico. It didn't help. Bartok, that's it. They won't find me. Maybe I can get away with it. like that. They don't know what they're running around for, but they keep it up. If they had any sense at all in their heads, they would stop all this foolishness, wouldn't they? And ask themselves what they're getting out of life. Now, there is you. Me? She goes to the office every morning, does her work, comes home at night, washes out a pair of stockings in the bathroom sink. She could do better? I don't know. I suppose she could. Listen. What? You didn't call me up and keep after me just to take me to the zoo. No. Something's going on in that head of yours. I can read it in your eyes. You're both doing a lot of eye reading here. Only I don't know what I see in yours. What are you talking about? What are you trying to tell me? Nothing. The 
facts of life. What about the facts of life? Listen. I'm just a guy out with a girl on a Sunday afternoon, working on her in a nice, normal way, trying to get acquainted. What's the matter? Are you afraid? Don't worry. I don't get frightened. Then what is it, that guy Bartow? Well, what about Bartow? Well, what about him? Is that the reason I you and... Uh... Don't take too much for granted. A girl has to have a social life. The things that come out of that sweet baby face of yours. Don't run away with yourself. Take it easy. Why do I like you? My baby blue eyes. You don't think you're going to put anything over on me, do you? Did you ever notice? Pretty girls nowadays walk around with an angry look on their face all the time. What kind of a chump do you take me for, anyway? They're suspicious, always watching out. They're just like misers. I know you, inside out. What you're thinking, every minute, I know exactly what you are. What do you mean, like misers? Well, you know, a miser's always afraid that somebody's scheming to rob him, to take him. What do you mean you know what I am? What am I? You're one of those... What? You heard me. Well, somebody generally is, isn't it? Generally is what? Trying to take somebody. Oh. Well, what are my chances? When you start walking on your head, and now, thanks very much for dinner and everything, and I want to go home. If you think I'm going to get myself mixed up with you, you're crazy. You're pretty good, and you've got star, but first comes you, second comes you, third comes you, and after that comes you. You're one of those egotistical smart Alex with big ideas. You think you've got a right to get away with murder, and I imagine you often do, but not with me. It's a cinch. You are dead. No woman alive could possibly resist a man as attractive as all that. You don't want me to get all wet and take you to the door, do you? You can make it by yourself. Sure. What's the matter now? You had to pick on Sunday. How a working girl hates Sunday evenings. Come on. Let's have some coffee. What do they mean by scopophobia? Morbid fear some people have of being seen or looked at. What's Corsakoff syndrome? False memories, remembering things that never happened. What are you fishing around for? You really know a lot about psychoanalysis. So do you. Oh, I work for an analyst. I've told you, I studied for years. I can't let you see Dr. Bartok's files. And don't. Those records are supposed to be confidential. Forget it. I was just curious to see how he handled his patients. Well, it stopped raining. Yes. Johnny. to do get me fired no why Shh, he'll hear you i'm not supposed to have personal visitors what would he think if he saw you oh i see what you mean very complicated kind of life you lead. Oh, st stop it johnny get out of here what's that what nothing go on what is it evelyn recording tape oh, yes he dictates his notes and i type them you certainly take a lot of interest in dr bartok well we have so much in common now wait a minute how'd this get out here 
Not here. What's the matter with you? Don't take chances. You take chances. Will you get some sense into your head? When do I see you tonight? You don't. I'm having my hair done. What time is your appointment? Seven. I'll pick you up when you get through. Where is it? Vincent's Wilshire at Laurel. Vincent's Wilshire at Laurel. Put it right in my pocket. This didn't come from the five and ten. You don't like it? It just goes to show how wrong a girl can be. What do you mean? I was positive this beautiful thing between us was good for another ten or fifteen weeks at least. It isn't? Well, it's about ten o'clock now. By twelve, you'd have it all worked out. Goodbye, darling, and good luck. It's all over, isn't that right? You don't bet an eyelash. I just stepped in and saved you a couple of hours. That's what I always liked about you. You're so quick. You're a neat worker yourself. Well, we're both prejudiced. Are you sore? No, why should I? What do you think I expected? Tell me, how are you going to put it? How was I going to put what? I'm just curious. What kind of a story were you going to give me? A nice story. And it's true, too. I'm leaving town. What a shame. No, really, I'm. Leaving the country, Paris. Honestly, you couldn't be nicer. I was just making some coffee. Do you want a cup? Oh, thanks. Hey. What? Listen. Just a minute now. Don't muck your arm. What if I told you I was crazy about you? Who said you were, and so what? No, look, what I mean, Johnny, I really like you. I really like you, too. Only I told you, Paris. You don't trust me. Should I trust you? Maybe I'd be good for you. You'd be surprised. Maybe I could help you. Please, don't help me. Maybe we could make a nice, decent life for ourselves together. Maybe I don't want it. Why don't you just forget it? Come on, Johnny. Everett. It's no use. It's no use. Don't get me wrong. I'm you saw, darling. No. You'll get over it. I'll live. You'll pass me on the street someday. You'll see me in a restaurant. You won't even know who I am. No, I'll remember you. I think I'd always take the trouble. That's sweet. Goodbye, Johnny.
Any kind of a trick you might want to try, my friend, let me tell you here and now. You'll find we got the answers before you even raise the questions. I bet you do. When you're on a call, don't dilly-dally. It's not your car. Bring it right back to the garage. Tell the girlfriend to take the bus. Sure. Everything here is on the time clock. Written record going in and out. And, of course, that's only one example. I see. Nothing personal. We trust you. Only these days, to stay in business, you got to be a hawk. Otherwise, they rob the shirt right off your back. After all, everybody's human. You got a reference? Reference? Got to have at least one local reference here, otherwise. The Michael John Company. I worked for the Michael John Company. You uh, hesitate. Well, I was fired at a fight. A fist fight? Yes. Is that all? <laughs> That's clean trouble. Don't worry. No, thanks. See the porter down there? He'll give you a uniform. Maybe it'll fit. Be agreeable and we'll all get along. Thanks. Oh, well, one thing more I forgot. Yes? The new men here work the night shift. That's the rule. They get the late hours. Any objections? No. Why should I object? Roger. The fellow that just picked up the enlargement. I was in your shop an hour ago. What? No, no, don't make any more prints. Don't give me any sales stock. What happened to the negative? Yes, the negative. What do I care? I want the negative back. Never mind my address. Don't send it to me. I'll pick it up myself. Got it? Oh, oh, yeah, yes, sir. Here it is. Uh, just one moment, That's all sir. Right. I'm in a hurry. Did you tell him, Martel? No, he was very gruff, just like before on the phone. He wouldn't let me get a word in. We should worry. I was perfectly willing to make him a corrected print. The average customer? 
They can never spot it. It's not that, Aubrey. It's just You're that I don't... You're conscientious, Artel. I flop pictures, reverse negatives a hundred times. They never notice. And after all, what's the difference? With his picture, the only difference is, instead of being on the left side of the face, the scar is on the right. Well, is that so terrible? please. A dollar's worth. It'll be a dollar, please. It's gonna check the oil. <laughs> 